India may have one of the largest train networks in the world, but the trains have seldom been synonymous with comfort and cleanliness. However, in the recent years, there has been a concerted effort to change it for good, and the over 20 new Vande Bharat DB trains have been launched so far, have had, will have a major role to play. The Integral Coach Factory, ICF, at Perambur in North Chennai is where one day pilot train coaches are made. Over the years, ICF has done all varieties of coaches. So we have expertise in air conditioned coaches, we have expertise in manufacture of what we call as self-propelled coaches, which are coaches with their own propulsion where you don't need a locomotive. So the one day is a combination of a self-propelled coach and air conditioned coach. Introduced as train 18 in 2018, and rechristened as Vande Bharat Express, the VB trains are India's first semi high speed train equipped with world class passenger amenities, designed to run at a maximum speed of 160 km per hour. The VB trains reduce the journey time by 25 to 45 percent. Currently, the maximum speed of the train is 130 km per hour as the tracks will have to be upgraded to match the speed. Passenger comfort is superior in VB trains when compared to the Shadapti Express. Be it the seats or the lighting or the toilets, in fact, the furnishing division in ICF ensures the train has top-notch facilities and state-of-the-art safety features. Safety is the priority in VB trains. The aerosol-based fire detection and suppression inside the coaches have been indigenously designed. Then we have an onboard uh, fire detection system which uh, alerts the passengers that there is an abnormal situation. Passenger as well as the travelling crew so that they can react to it. We have CCTV surveillance uh, inside the train as well as outside. So any untoward incident which is happening in the train can be seen by the driver and the guard and they can respond to it. Likewise, the cameras which are provided outside, they are able to uh, capture situations like uh, stone pelting and uh, anybody trying to harm the train from outside. So the surveillance system is tried for the first time on the Vande Bharat. No other train has it. Another major safety feature in the DB trains is coverage, the train collision avoidance system. According to Malya, the cost of manufacturing a VB train is around Rs. 108 crore. There will be around 100 VB trains by next year. In fact, ICF has come a long way in terms of design and infrastructure. A separate facility inside the factory with over 800 employees work day and night to roll out the specialty train coaches. The facility has an exclusive assembly and furnishing division. Long carriers bring in large underframes of the base of the train to the assembly point, which is then attached with frames to build the body of the train. There is an exclusive welding section with young women welding the windows and doors. And then at the spot welding section, a large crane goes left and right, attaching two large steel sheets to give a final shape to the train body. After erecting the body frame, it moves into the next section, the furnishing division where the air conditioning units are installed on the roof. And then the transformers, batteries and panels are fitted onto the chasers. The seats are then fixed before it moves into the wiring section where prefabricated cables are brought in and fit into the coaches. Though the VB trains has heralded a significant change in train travel in India, there's a long way to go as far as improving the overall infrastructure and cost-effectiveness of the Indian railways are concerned. <laughs>